Okay, I'm going to do a little review on this Seymour Duncan convertible. This is an old rack mount head that I've had for a long time. I know they're pretty rare. Got these little modules that go in. Got a ton of tubes. It's got the old uh, E34 ALs in it and a bunch of preamp tubes and then some inside that we'll we'll see here in a bit. This is one of those amps you can take from 100 watts down to 5. And um, unlike some, it ain't just turning the volume down, it actually does change the power from 100 watts down to 5. Which was a very expensive option at the time. This rack mount, 100 watt rack mount, pretty hard to find, almost impossible. Usually you only see the 60 watters. I do admit I need to clean it, but uh, I've had this for quite a few years and abused it. <laughs> but it still works good. As you can see in one of my other videos with the cord effector that I test with it. Got pentode and triode. Tells you how many tubes I think you're running or the power structure in the amp. And this is definitely a rack mount version. You can see it used to have the used to have the fan that went in it that you're supposed to plug in there when you get it in the right rack. I've been looking for a rack to stick it in. Okay, now we'll take a look at the modules inside. Okay, this one's got some really unique modules that I have not seen in any of the other amp. It's got five more little tubes or whatever you can see in there. It's got what it says is... See, that says normal, quiet and clean tube, high gain, high overdrive. Classic. That one says, I don't know why it's got that on there. What the hell? Hybrid, hot and crunchy. And this is a weird one. I've never seen one like this. Classic EQ. Now this one has, you can, <laughs> I guess EQ the, the sound of the tube out of this one, which I have never ever played with that. It's a, quite a complicated machine. Then I have these extra modules, which I have never played with. These modules, right here, go inside these. When you open these up, they'll have one of these inside there. Now I got these extra ones, and this one, let me get it in the light, this one's got somebody's name on it, don't know if it's, uh, first I almost thought it was Jeff Beck, <laughs> I heard uh, he used to use these um, back in the studio days, it says J... Reth or Ruth or something. Not sure. But they almost look handmade anyway. I'm sure they are. This one has all sorts of uh, little markings. But I have no clue what these are for. If they're high gain or crunch or whatever like these are. These are already stated. If anybody's seen one like that, tell me. Because um, I've never I've been looking on a lot of Seymour sites, and I've had a hard time finding uh, the modules, especially like that. I know the modules are pretty rare, but I think that one's extremely rare. 
Anyways, 100 watt convertible tube amp. If you want to go check how uh, this convertible works, you can check out my other video with uh, the court effector. I actually use this amp on that video. Thought I'd run through it. Let people check out uh, the options and see if they've ever seen one like this. I haven't seen anybody demo a head version of this. I've seen a, quite a few of the 60s and the 100 watt uh, regular versions, but this is the the only one I've seen uh, put on here. Anyways, neat amp, very neat amp. Very rare, and most of them don't work anymore, is what I hear. This one's never gave me a lick of trouble. Um, some of the pots, I gotta say, are probably a little, a little screechy. But um, other than that, she's been a tough old beast, and I have not treated it that well. I've had this amp since I was a teen. Just never ever had the gumption to ever get rid of it, but I do need to find a rack for it. Thanks for watching.